Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and this year, I don't know, I didn't want to really plan it, but I guess I am trying to plan it. But, either way, thank you all for five years of support for watching the channel, and I guess that's it. I don't really sell anything, but thank you for all supporting and continuously watching my videos and interacting with the videos too. Leaving comments is definitely awesome. It's nice to be able to talk to people most times. I'm in my car right now because really I don't know where to film. Um, I kind of have a studio, but not really. Uh, I actually just got a new table because the current video that I'm working on actually scratched that table. So I had to buy a new one because it was like right in the middle. So yeah, that's fun. But yeah, let's go over to voiceover and see what I could think of. Yeah. So I don't entirely know what I want to do for this video, but I guess I can talk about my video analytics for the last year and kind of tell you what's been going on a little bit more, kind of giving you more information than what YouTube gives you, but what they actually give me, which is kind of interesting. And then talk about some new additions about, you know, what I've added to the channel in the last year, like how I got this tripod for the camera and I got an iPhone 13 Pro for my camera, which I'm going to be replacing with the iPhone 14 Pro, which is coming out this week. So let's start with the analytics and let's just start with the views, which is 1,949,060 views in the last 365 days. 51,000 short, and I guess that kind of equates to about four days off. So I guess 369 days would have been 2 million views. That's honestly pretty crazy. That's so many views. I know it may not seem like a lot for some people, but that is still a lot of views, especially when we just passed, I think, 6 million this year. And then for watch time, we're looking at 93,000 hours, which is about 10.6 years, which is definitely a lot, and especially done in one year. That's that's a lot. Then we gained 5.7 thousand subscribers, which again is just so many people, and it's honestly pretty awesome that you guys are here, so thank you for that. And if we go to the top videos, it looks like the mod for the 9bot scooter, that seems to be the most viewed with 252,000 views in the last 365 days. Second to that is 67,000 views for an iPhone SE repair. And then going back to 2017, my iPhone 7 Plus charging port replacement got 63,000 views. But the most interesting thing is this is for this year and a little bit for last year, but it seems that the most popular review that I've done in the last year is the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G with almost 62,000 views. I guess the iPhone 13 mini is a little bit more popular because that did come out a month and a half later and has almost 200 views less. So I'm assuming that the iPhone 13 mini is going to surpass that at least by the end of the year. But going back to that S10 5G video, it's actually 62,120 views since it was published. 3.4 thousand hours and I gained 294 subscribers. Now like I said, I did gain 5,700 subscribers and this is what it looks like over the year with it spiking in two areas for almost 60 subscribers in one day, but I would say the average is about 20 subscribers per day, maybe a little bit less. And as for subscribers that have the bell notification, it looks like 13.9% have it turned on and then 6.8% have it turned on and enabled for notifications. Personally, I don't really care. I publish videos every Sunday with, you know, some videos coming before Sunday, and I don't really get notifications on my phone even if I do have the bell on, so I don't really feel too bad if people don't want to have this on here. Even if it was at 0%, I really wouldn't care. But if you have the bell on, that's pretty cool. And then as for watch time from subscribers, it is a staggering 98.9% .9 that are not subscribed. And technically you're part of the 1% if you are subscribed, so there you go. Then it breaks down with age and gender, with female being 12.6% and male being 87.4%. And it looks like the average age is 25 to 34 years old, which is where I fall, so that's pretty cool. And then the most popular countries that view my videos is the United States by a lot, and then second is India, and then third is United Kingdom. The interesting thing about this is it actually tells you the cities that are most popular too, 
with New York and Melbourne being the number one and number two, but still pretty close to each other by less than 50 views. And then we actually have Copenhagen is passing Los Angeles. I'm assuming that this is based in the area. So Los Angeles is most likely just California as a whole and same with New York, but it is still pretty interesting to see this. But yeah, according to YouTube, New York watches my videos the most by a little, but still the most. Then here's a breakdown of subscribers and it explains a lot, including where they started subscribing where they stopped subscribing and how many subscribers that I lost. And in total, I gained 5,694, but I really gained 6,813 and lost 1,119 subscribers. So technically, if I didn't lose any of those subscribers, I would probably be at about 20,000 subscribers by now. But it is kind of interesting seeing how you lost those, or at least it breaks it down. Then we have the breakdown for how people watch the videos and what their operating system is. Android is almost double of iOS with Windows being very close to iOS. So I'm assuming just Windows as a computer, but the lower you get, the more interesting it gets. So first of all, PlayStation is at 5,375, which is still pretty good. Same thing with Xbox at 4,189. But the most interesting ones are 1,112 on the Nintendo Switch, but 439 on KaiOS, which is pretty much like flip phone. So I'm surprised about that. But I do want to end this and thank a few people. First of all, the 57 people that are using Windows Mobile to watch my videos. The four views or four people that are watching it on a Nintendo Wii and the one person that is watching it on a Blackberry. So let me tell you about a few things that I got. I got this camera. It's a Blackmagic 6K Pro and I have a Sigma 18 to 35 on it, which I think is an awesome setup. I got the follow focus with a set ring on it and I have this nice little handle on the top. I've been trying a few different rig designs and this seems to be the most portable and most realistic for what I actually need this camera for. I do like how on the bottom I got the two terabyte SSD. This is a Samsung T5. It is kind of frustrating that a cable is hanging off, but I got this for about 150 and I'm not going to pay $700 for a one terabyte drive. I just can't justify that, especially when I can use this SSD for anything else if I don't have it on the camera. But this camera is pretty awesome. I haven't really filmed it for anything yet, at least for this video. I've done some work outside, but I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that on these types of videos because I do film with my iPhone and that doesn't really take up a lot of space. These videos take up a lot of space with this camera. I got a little 50 millimeter lens as well, but one of my favorites, if it's not the Sigma, has to be this 80 to 200 millimeter lens. That's an f2.8 and I just think it's really awesome. I think it was actually made in 1987. So it's one of the older EF mount lenses, but it's still an awesome lens. I actually had to get this from Japan. I know there are some people in the United States that have it, but most people, they have the 70 millimeter to 200 millimeter. And I don't know, the 80 to 200 millimeter just feels nice. And it kind of sets you apart because it's not the white camera lens, but it is a black camera lens with the red ring. So I think it's pretty cool. I am going to get other lenses and hopefully start using it for the channel. But yeah, that's been my big purchase, just like this MacBook. This is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's all maxed out literally with the M1 Max, the 64 core GPU, 64 gigabytes of RAM and eight terabytes of storage. And I use this every day, literally for everything. I mean, I'm literally using it to record this audio. I'm actually not using a different mic. I'm literally just using this. So let me know what you think about the sound. And I'm trying to finish the review for this, but I've just been sidetracked. I've literally had this computer since April, I think. And oh, that's actually the one thing I wanted to talk about. So I broke down all the videos that I've done. I've recorded 72 videos. Seven of those are product reviews. Eight of those are unboxings. Seven are repair videos, 12 are just random videos that I did. Three of those videos are comparing videos, six are shorts. And this year, and a little bit of last, I was able to record 29 phone reviews. 
And I think that's awesome because normally I would say I would shoot about 10 to 15 reviews every year. And my channel is called Real World Review. So I want to make sure that I can record as many review videos as possible. But it is very expensive to do that. These phones are not free and they are definitely not cheap. And I guess that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about. Hopefully you enjoyed these videos and hopefully you enjoy all the videos that I make. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.